And what about tomorrow? What are you gonna do? Lunch with a doctor friend? Examine some patients? Beat that guy Rex at tennis again? Doesn't it bother you you won't be doing any of those things? What about tomorrow? Tomorrow will be different. You'll be a pretty pale flower. Wheeled around, fed, loved. You know, everyone secretly loves a failure. In a couple of days, you'll start getting mail. Gifts from people you don't even know. You'll watch your family and friends open them up. You ever thought about Saturn's moons? Nothing deader than a moon, right? And yet, it goes on. Revolving, rising, and setting. And what about a tree? I mean, who buries a tree when it dies? No one. It stands there strong, clean, and elegant. <laughs> You're a good-looking woman, Maud. Why would I want to see you buried? Eyeless. I know you don't feel chatty right now, but come on, Maud. This is you we're talking about, not somebody else. Don't you care? Can't you just give me a couple of tears? It's strange, isn't it? This feeling of predestiny. Now all women have it, don't feel bad. Good. You know what a pack of wild wolves catches a zebra? Now, one grabs the zebra right by its nose, clinches it with its teeth, the other one grabs its tail, the rest of the wolves start eating out its stomach. While the zebra stands there on its hooves and the dogs are eating him, you would think he'd fight back, wouldn't you? But he's through fighting. He's been expecting this. It's been happening to him for 20 million years. And he can't even feel the dogs eat out his stomach anymore. He's already gone away. Have you, Maud? Have you gone away? <laughs>